a lot over the last year is uh, reshuffling of agencies and organizations uh, where previously things were uh, tending to be a lot more siloed. There's a lot more collaboration going on now. Some of it's out of necessity, uh, some of it's out, uh, you know, due to organizational changes that have taken place. Uh, and although some of that's been very difficult and uh, uh, folks have really had to step up in some cases to adapt and adjust to that, uh, there have been some additional benefits that have come out of that where people have brought forth ideas about areas that they hadn't previously been involved with. Uh, I'd say from, from when I first started with the state, uh, it's changed a lot in terms of the cycle, cycle time. Uh, the cycle time when I first started with the state uh, was typically very long for a lot of initiatives. Uh, there, was, there was a lot longer planning cycles, longer procurement cycles, uh, and sometimes the implementation phases as well. Uh, now, out of necessity and just out of the, the improved tools and resources we have available to us, much of which comes from collaborating with other states, uh, we're able to shorten up on those cycles. One of the ways uh, we're, we're being forced to innovate uh, is resource shortages and, uh, and budget cuts. Uh, like a lot of the states, we, we don't have a, an open checkbook in terms of, of getting resources, be it contracted resources or state employee resources. And uh, out of necessity, we're having to find creative ways uh, around those resource shortages that usually result in more efficient ongoing ways of doing things uh, by sharing information with other states and finding what works there, uh, sharing contracts with other states. Um, we're able to take some shortcuts as well that really helps us out an awful lot versus if we were going it alone. I'd say the biggest challenges of 2016 uh, have been the budget cuts and, and resource shortages. Um, we've, we've had to um, find ways of doing things differently that in, in some cases really have caused some difficulties uh, for some organizations where jobs that they did uh, and perhaps did well in many cases had to be dropped in favor of higher priority things that were going on just because they couldn't continue to be all things to all people. They couldn't do everything for everyone anymore. I'd say our, our top three priorities right now uh, are trying to make the most efficient use of what we've got in terms of resources. Um, dropping those unnecessary tasks uh, or even if they're not technically unnecessary, dropping those tax tasks that are the, the lower priority tasks. Um, another is uh, on the procurement side, trying to use creative ways to procure, using NASPO value point, using other state contracts, uh, and trying to, trying to leverage the work that others have done uh, and not, not repeat something that's going to uh, result in the same answer. Uh, in many cases, we have multiple options to procure things, and as long as we still have that, um, if, if a contract isn't precisely what we were looking for, we may be able to find some of the missing parts or uh, things to fill gaps from other contracts.